Hey, how's it guys? We are back in Review World. Not at my shop because uh, that's all smoked out. So we're outside and we got a new Armstrong APF 1675 here. And I guess army guys, they saw my videos, my uh, downwind subfoil wannabe flat water start videos and they felt really sorry they said like we gotta send this guy the right foil so i got this front wing and just to say the least it is a gargantuous and as gargantuous as your support for this video and liking and subscribing in times like this it comes in really handy you guys so we're going to review this video i'm going to continue my series on trying to get that flat water start going and first of course we're going to look at this a little bit in detail and see what of a gargantuous crazy lifty wing that is the first thing of course is this massive wingspan i mean look at that and i'm standing here and i mean look at this it's all the way it's all the way to my belly here look at that that's how tall this thing is. I mean, check this out. Huge. It's got actually, and I thought that's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be thinner. Like I thought the camber is gonna be thinner, but it actually has quite, quite a camber going. And what really jumps into my eyesight is how it tapers off towards the end. Like it, how it really has that thick camber line up front and then it thins down really quick and has almost like you can feel that little cavity there, like particularly towards the center and then it flattens out towards the end. So that is really interesting. And of course, again, I am not an aerodynamics aviator type of person, but I sure feel like we're all becoming one the sooner the later. It is really, this thing is probably creating a shit ton of lift. Not probably, guaranteed it's going to create a shit ton of lift. It's got little winglets to the side, tiny, tiny little, little winglets, probably adding a little bit of stability. This actually comes with three screws. So it has the A plus system through screw. It has an M. 26 and then it has a 19 millimeter screw and I'm not sure if you guys can see this in this video but you can really see the curvature of this wing particularly the cavity right here where my fingers are and I think that's going to be the one where it really like it creates that lift and it creates more lift like probably um, you know like like the ones that we had that HS series where we had a really a longer cord line and this appears to be of course has far less cord but the characteristics of the entire thing are just so different and it feels like this is going to be a little bit the new technology because also we've seen similar kind of designs already at the M2O where a lot of guys were running around or foiling around with prototypes and there seems to be definitely a little bit of revolution going on in the camber line for certain foils particularly when it comes to efficiency and downwind racing so uh, let's see if a weekend donkey guy like me can actually get this thing out of the water i doubt it but you know you never know you just never know a quick little pro tip and life hack this thing does not fit with an old fuselage. So the one screw here, it's got three holes in the foil, but I don't have three holes in this fuselage. So it does not go with the old fuselage, but I have, this is already set up, my little trainer set. So, and I'm not in the mood to walk all the way back up to my car and uh, start re and disassemble my entire gear. So this is just gonna have to do for now. I can't really prove it, but I actually got this thing out of the water and Usually I don't want to blame equipment on successes or failures, but in this case, I really must say I, I felt a difference right out of the gates. And also for uh, my surprise, I actually paddled this board straight for once and that I couldn't really explain why, because I didn't feel like it did particularly something different other than that inverse chase stroke. And, um, you know, maybe it's a little bit like this. You feel like for anybody that plays golf you don't play golf for a while and then you go play around and it's like you play one of the better rounds and you're like how is this possible i haven't practiced in so long and, and i haven't practiced this in in a very long while by now 
and um, today was the first time I actually went out and it's a 72 centimeter mast with the old 232 stabilizer but anyway this thing went straight and I am sprinting and I'm porpoising the board and I felt there is a little bit of a release I totally felt there was some sort of release so I'm paddling around of course I know you know like I can't get it out but it, it releases a little bit you know it just it just wants to get out and so I'm paddling a little bit downwind because it's offshore in here so the water is super flat and I'm paddling downwind and I'm, I'm giving it all I have and there it goes I'm like this thing is gotta come it's almost there it's almost there and boom it gives and I got the board out of the water I couldn't believe it I really couldn't believe it but you know what else I couldn't believe is like how of course I landed in the water right away because it was so weird it's like all of a sudden whoa I'm foiling boom in the water thank you but we will continue these videos with flat water starts and if you guys want to watch some failure you can certainly do that in all the videos that we did previously we tried it out in the open ocean with a jet ski we tried it um, in little waves where it definitely had a lot of success so this wing here this guy up here this guy i want to try this guy in the tiniest of tiny waves because i'm thinking like once th once this thing is up i don't think you're ever going to get it down we're going to be foiling we're going to be up and pumping around for for hours well maybe good guys but I'm so stoked we're gonna continue using this foil in the lightest of light winds I have some other fun gadgets that we can attach here so we're gonna stay with it guys we're gonna stay with it and we're gonna have fun with it and we're gonna explore and learn this thing together and give hope to older guys like us who can do this I don't know how old you guys are that is watching this but I'm not 20 and I got it out of the water and if I can you can and if i can see you in the next video you see me in the next video